hey hey everyone and uh, welcome in it's a uh, monkey mar before we get into today's uh, video please make sure you uh, click that subscribe button the bell for notifications and of course the like i am this whole Bri asia terrell is not sitting well with me and i came across an article from a couple days ago and it just makes me want to dig in to her mother a little bit and to find out what is wrong with this picture let me show you the article that i did find and with that guys let's get into today's uh, video so in my last video regarding briasia terrell I did say that I was not going to look into the mom yet because of the fact that her daughter is missing and I'm going to give her some respect. But I saw an article that was from a couple days ago and I've been thinking about it and thinking about it and I thought, you know what? No way. Something's not right and something's not sitting right with me. So the article read, we're walking billboards, family of missing 10-year-old Briasia Terrell printing t-shirts and masks to spread her photo. It's been almost three weeks since anyone has seen Briasia Terrell. Her family is determined to make sure her face is not forgotten. Mm, something is just off. Rock Island, Illinois, Briasia Terrell's family says the 10-year-old has a reputation for telling the truth very strange if you want the truth you're going to get it from briasia said cousin shay tate moore with a laugh moore said many of her family members lovingly tease briasia for her truthful nature but until briasia comes home her family worries that there's no one to tell her story and in the nearly three weeks that she's been missing, there's been precious little information about the investigation. My kids have played with Briasia. They are cousins. And for my child to say, Mom, do you know anything yet? Have you heard anything yet? Moore said, we just want Briasia found. That's it. And it's very hard because it's like we are not getting anywhere. Moore, like many others, has helped search muddy riverbanks and other areas for signs of Briasia. But as a fashion designer, she soon realized that she could put her skills to good use. And that thought, and that, excuse me, brought me back into light. And that was like, hello, let's go, Moore said. Whenever we can put Briasia on, let's get her on there. It started with t-shirts, Moore designs the image and prints them in her home fashion studio. Some people wear them everywhere, like Briasia's uncle, Demarcus Lankford. We are walking billboards. I wear her shirt, her mask, everywhere I go, Lankford said. The masks, too, feature Briasia's unmistakable smile. To purchase a mask or t-shirt, reach out to the More Divas Facebook page. I'm going to attach that link in the description below. And, of course, the FBI has announced $10,000 reward for the information that helps him find Briasia. On top of the $3,500 reward being offered by Crime Stoppers of the Quad Cities. What is wrong with this picture? It's three weeks. The man that she spent the night with is in jail because he forgot to register as a sex offender for the third time. And that's an habitual offender. Something is not sitting right with me. I mean, and the whole entire thing in this article about her being gone is that she is truthful. And if you want the truth, you go to Briasia. But if you want the truth, you're going to get it from Briasia. I mean, we wish we could find Briasia, right? To find out what's really going on. I think somebody knows a little more than what they are saying so let's go have a look into the mother and I have yet looked into her so we're going to be seeing this together. Let's get right into Asia Lankford's background because I'm just curious I just do not understand how everyone is just so carefree about it. And how come 
we do not know like what is Henry Earl Dinkins saying what he went to bed and woke up and she was gone I'm not buying it okay so she has a lien against her from the state of Illinois back in 2019 a judgment against her in 2019 from an insurance company and remember she's 28 years old so she was young when she had Briasia. she was about 18 she has an eviction on March date filed March 4th 2014 and the date reported September 28th off of 401 Paul Revere Place apartment 3 and she has one criminal case that was filed against her in Rock Island County Iowa description is battery slash cause bodily harm the charges were filed on September 29th 2014 and the disposition date was 10 28 2014 so that is everything on the mom and everyone please make sure you spread all of this information out so that we can find Briasia Terrell I just you know how you just get that feeling that something is not right I want to hear what you guys think what do you think happened to Briasia Terrell and how many of you think that the mom might know more than what she's saying and not that she did anything to her daughter but that she just knows more I find this to them to be too nonchalant and considering three weeks gone since Briasia spent the night at Henry Earl Dinkins place and she has not been seen since what is he saying all right guys I am going to wrap it up because I want to get this video out and with that thank you for coming in thank you for watching please like or dislike whichever you prefer Stay safe from COVID-19 and stay vigilant. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And I am out.